Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I am going to share with you a week of real life dinners thrown together from items that I needed to use up in my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. Let's get into it. To start off this week, we are going to make a turkey spaghetti. I have some mozzarella cheese, some turkey, some seasonings, and a couple boxes of pasta that need to be used up. Also this prego, and I am just going to make a quick sauce. I have my turkey, I'm going to brown that up in my cast iron Dutch oven. Now I'm going to add some minced onion to that. I've been using minced onion instead of dicing up onions quite a bit lately. The texture of onions isn't my husband's favorite and this is a great way to get the flavor but also pull out that texture that he does not like. It's been something I've really enjoyed doing. I am also going to add to this some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder just to add some flavor to that turkey for our spaghetti. And now that that turkey is cooked, I'm going to add a can of mushrooms. If you have fresh mushrooms, you can add that. But I just added a can of mushrooms and I'm making sure that I broke them up really good. And then I'm going to add my prego pasta sauce. Of course, I'm going to take some water and get the rest of that pasta sauce out of that jar. You may have noticed I've been making spaghetti quite a bit lately. I never liked spaghetti as a child and now as I get older and I'm adding more stuff to it and adding more flavors like the garlic powder and the Italian seasoning that I prefer, I have liked it a little bit more and it's something that's super simple to make and then the leftovers reheat really well. So I'm finally starting to like spaghetti as a 31 year old woman. As you can see, I added my thick spaghetti pasta noodles at first. I let those cook down a little bit, and now I'm adding in my thin noodles. Now, I didn't have any garlic bread in the freezer, so I'm taking some ends of bread that I made, and I'm just adding some olive oil to these. I'm going to add some seasonings on top as well, and then I am going to coat this in cheese because everything's better with a coating of cheese. Right here I'm adding my garlic salt and then I'm just going to transfer these onto a pan and I'm going to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for just a few minutes until the cheese is toasted. And now that my spaghetti is done, I'm just going to transfer that into the Dutch oven. And then I'm going to combine the spaghetti with the sauce. And then I'm going to coat this with some more cheese. Now I did end up throwing that in the oven with that garlic bread for just a few minutes to let that cheese melt. And that is what's for dinner. I will say the best part about making this in the Dutch oven is all I have to do is toss the lid on it and then the next time I want spaghetti I can just toss it in the oven and bake it and you have baked spaghetti. And for the next day we are going to have wings and fries. How simple can you get? <laughs> So I decided to pick up some wings and some fries quite a while ago just to have in the freezer for a day like tonight. We have been working in the garden quite a bit lately. This is my first garden so I'm like starting from scratch and it's a whole lot of work. I am whooped. That's why you guys haven't really been getting 
any content from me because I've just been so busy, but that will change soon. Just please be patient with me. I'm learning. So I'm tossing this whole bag of chicken wings into the air fryer basket. This is preheated already and I'm adding a little bit of seasoning salt and then I am just going to bake those in the air fryer until they're completely cooked through. And while those are cooking, I am tossing a layer of fries into the oven and I am baking them. So right here, I have two different sauces. I have some garlic Parmesan and I also have some like Asian sweet chili sauce. I added some candied jalapenos in with it as well. And those are our delicious chicken wings. I did add some dipping sauces. My husband has ranch and I prefer blue cheese. Comment down below, do you prefer blue cheese with your wings or do you prefer ranch? As you can see, I just coated those wings in that sauce and these turned out super delicious. Just like going to a restaurant and it's way cheaper to buy a $7 bag of wings than go to Buffalo Wild Wings and spend at least 60 bucks. And the next thing we are going to make is our delicious weekly taco salads. Now I know I've been making this quite a bit lately, but this is just like one of our go-to meals. It's like spaghetti, taco salad, burgers. <laughs> Those are like our go-to right now when life is busy. So right here, I am just going to make some taco meat out of this turkey. I have this Tones taco seasoning and a pound of ground turkey. I'm adding some minced onion to this. Like I said before, we have been using minced onion in replacement for onions lately, and we've actually been really enjoying it. I still get that delicious deep onion flavor without having to cut an onion because my husband can smell an onion in the house for like five days, I swear. I am now going to take these refried bean mix beans I canned these quite a while ago. I'm going to add these to a little bit of oil and I'm going to fry those babies up and add them to my salads as well. Now for my salad base, I have this iceberg lettuce. I'm going to chop this up and add it to my OXO Good Grips salad spinner. I apologize if you can hear rain in the background. We are having a little thunderstorm right now and I am thoroughly enjoying it because it gives me some time to do this voiceover for you guys. It gives me a little break from my garden. Now, I will link this OXO Good Grip salad spinner down below because it is my absolute favorite kitchen tool. I'm adding my lettuce to two big bowls. I am adding some Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch are not my favorite Doritos for taco salads, but I take any opportunity that we have Doritos on hand to make taco salads. Now here is my turkey meat that is all browned up. I am adding some of that to my salad. I usually wait till it's cool, but I didn't this time. I have some leftover ground beef for my husband's because ground beef is his favorite. I'm adding some refried beans to mine and some salsa adding some salsa to his as well. And I'm also topping his with a little bit of corn. Now I usually top ours with sour cream and salsa, but I do not have any sour cream on hand. So today I chose ranch dressing and that is our super delicious dinner. It's always my favorite meal of the week. All right, I am craving burgers. So I tossed some dough into my bread machine. We're gonna make some burger buns and I think we'll make some hot dog buns as well. For our dough, I just use the regular white bread machine bread recipe that I use. I will link that down below. 
and I just put it on the dough cycle and then I form it into buns. Today I chose to make some burger buns and hot dog buns. So I made two different shaped buns for that. I have this egg that I just cracked and I'm going to do an egg wash over all of my buns. And I'm going to pop these in the oven. I have it at 420 degrees. And I'm going to keep these in for about 12 minutes. And I'm immediately going to start forming my patties. And I'm making these into really thin patties. It's just a little over a pound of meat and I'm making four patties. I'm just going to use some seasoning salt. Now I'm just making one burger right now. I tossed the rest of the burgers in the fridge. It's only me right now. The buns have a minute and a half left and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna make my burger. I definitely need to work on my egg wash, but these look amazing. They're a little small, but I don't mind that. Perfect. Now I do need to work on my egg wash a little bit, maybe add a little bit of water next time. And to these buns, I did add some sesame seeds. And then to mine, I added a little bit of minced onion and that was the perfect move. I'm gonna add two slices of cheese to my burger. Don't mind my uh, dirty range. That's not even the best melting cheese. I'm just trying to get it out of my fridge. Nice, it's still soft. I'm gonna toast the inside a little bit. Now that is the perfect meat to bun ratio. <laughs> I told you that cheese was not as good as I usually like it, but this is what's for dinner. Still cleaning out the pantry and the freezer. Speaking of freezer and fridge clean out. I took some steak that we made last week. I chopped it up with some morel mushrooms and a little bit of butter and we had a super simple dinner of leftovers. Leftover mashed potato, leftover steak, and leftover mushrooms. You cannot beat that on a super busy night. And now for our last meal of the week, I baked some of that spaghetti again. So I have some ghee here. I also have some garlic salt and I have some leftover buns that I pulled out of the freezer. I don't even know how long these have been in there, let's be honest. So I took those out, I cut them with my bread knife. I'll link this bread knife down below. It's my second favorite kitchen tool. <laughs> and I just cut these rolls up. I melted some ghee because I didn't have some butter. There's our spaghetti. I'm going to just toss this right into the oven and let it bake. But I have this melted ghee right here and I am just going to coat every last inch of these rolls and I'm making some garlic bread. We ended up turning these into like spaghetti sandwiches after we got them on our plates. And honestly, I don't know why spaghetti sandwiches aren't a thing. <laughs> so right here I added some garlic salt and I also am adding some Italian seasoning. Something about Italian seasoning on garlic bread just sends it to a whole other level. Now I am just tossing these into the oven until they are cooked through. And that was tonight's super simple dinner. I love when we can just ravage through the fridge and freezer and find ourselves a meal because there's nothing better than a free dinner, especially with grocery prices how they are now. Even I am like, this is getting absolutely crazy. I haven't even been buying meat lately. It's been insane. But anyways, spaghetti and garlic bread, that is tonight's dinner. And I wanna thank you for coming along today on this super simple what's for dinner video. 
the next video might be another what's for dinner video and I apologize for that but hey life is hectic and I'm just pushing through so thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching.